The Records Analytics Dashboard visualizes content categorized as records in Collapse Space, which can provide insights into the efficacy of an organization's records management strategy. The Records vs. Non-Records card provides an overview of how much of an organization's total content is marked as active records, as preserved by Collapse Space workflow actions. For example, if content is not being categorized as actively retained records, these non-records might include items which require review, are retained, or content that is uncategorized or has been destroyed. This classification indicates the possibility that organization content may need to be put through compliance procedures. The Records by File Type card shows an overview of what kind of files are being retained as active records. The Records by Content Type card shows active records by the seven most common kinds of documents they contain. A records manager can see what sort of content is being retained as records and decide, based on which file types are the most prominent, whether they are essential to retain or not. But by identifying trends among file and content types, this helps with assessing storage needs, understanding business requirements, and deciding where to apply compliance procedures. The Categorized versus Uncategorized Records card indicates whether records have been placed in their record categories in Collab Space's compliance app. Because uncategorized items cannot have retention policies applied, they therefore cannot follow an organization's compliance procedures. This may indicate a need for record categorization, or that these items currently stand outside of a retention schedule, and therefore might not be necessary to keep. The Records Category card shows the distribution of an organization's records across the various categories to which they are assigned, which is useful to determine which department is producing the most records. The Records Over Time card shows the change in volume of records and total items over a date range. The trend lines indicate the breakup of documents preserved as active records and how this changes over time. Ideally, an organization's records trend line should increase over time in reflection of a well-applied records retention schedule.